This video I want to talk quickly about the virtue of self-discipline and why it is paramount that we try, we make a concerted effort to cultivate it in various ways and um, in various fields and aspects of our day-to-day -day realities. So uh, first of all, I just want to say that I know in my own life up until recently and still to this day, uh, at times I struggled tremendously with self-discipline. I was very um, impulsive, very, um, you know, very chaotic, just lacking an overarching, I don't want to say restraint um, um, placed upon my, imposed upon myself, but an overarching uh, fabric of What's the word? An overarching fabric of um, control or necessary control, necessary restraint. If you don't want to go too far because then it becomes a vice, but there is the middle ground that it what, that holds the virtue. And uh, that's what I was lacking in to this day. Like I said, I still struggle with it, but there are things we can do to uh, cultivate the virtue of self-discipline and um, really without it um, I'd say 99 out of 100 people aren't going to manifest their ultimate selves or reach their full potential because without self-discipline we're really just um, we're too we're too deeply entrenched in the uh, reality of the lower self and um, we're feeding the energies that the lower self thrives on and that is a lack of self-discipline and that is a preponderance of all the other vices so I, I remember months ago I started trying to cultivate self-discipline by doing things that I could test myself and see if I'd be able to maintain in any sort of uh, long run. So I started journaling. Uh, they have these like little journals that aren't too big, not like a full size notebook, but I made it my goal to write one page, um, one half, one side of the page every day. And some things like saying prayers every day. Um, Uh, reading something every day and not and preferably not you know magazines or stuff that's kind of lacking in substance but like books and things read a little bit every day and then uh, I'm not particularly religious but I, I, I was raised Catholic and um, one of the things we used to do was pray the rosary so being even though I'm not religious in that sense now I um, imposed upon myself the task of praying the rosary every day and I did it for about a week but I kind of I fell off with that pretty quickly because um, I don't know it just was uh, and honestly that was a true test of discipline because the level of faith that um, enables one to to get through such a monotonous and uh, you know boring task is something that I didn't have at that moment so it was a true test of self-discipline because all of those uh, all of those conditions that enable one to conceive of this thing in the mind in a certain way that facilitate it much easier they weren't present in me so I'm thinking about picking that back up again and um, I do pray but I don't say prayers in that sense but it is a great thing to do to build discipline can you get yourself to do this and um, you know Mike Tyson has this quote discipline is doing something you hate but doing it as though you love it and that uh, that is a true to some extent a true part of uh, that uh, phenomenon of self-discipline and discipline in general but I don't think it's that you necessarily hate it I think it's something that 
um, repels instant gratification and is in is opposed to the um, consciousness of the lower self so it can be framed in your mind as a hatred for it but I think it's a misplaced hatred it's just a uh, something that rubs the lower self the wrong way and thus you are um, deterred from doing it because uh, there is usually no instant gratification although there could be if you conceive of it in that way and that the gratification you get from it is knowing that you're feeding the vibrations of the higher self so that's one that's some things that uh, we can do to cultivate self-discipline is pick some tasks that you know aren't the most alluring things that you could be doing and impose it upon yourself and you have to get to the point where it doesn't matter how you feel it doesn't matter what your emotions are telling you it doesn't matter um, what mood you're in you get it done no matter what whether you're sleepy whether it's late whether you're tired whether you're uh, whether you want to rather do something more quote unquote fun that day doesn't matter the self-discipline that is being cultivated will kick in and tell you that you have to do this thing and this is important because a lot of times we get in trouble in life because we lack self-discipline so we're very impulsive we don't think things through we're constantly indulging the uh, the ephemeral and low-level desires that uh, we might be experiencing at the moment and these things are often diametrically opposed to um, the, the requirements that the higher self has in order to manifest so you can never go wrong with building self-discipline and all achievement in life stems from in part from self-discipline and these sorts of things and um, it's paramount it's paramount to doing anything that you want to achieve and along with that comes a sacrifice of the uh, carnal desires and things that uh, we indulge without even a second thought when we should have multiple successive thoughts about because they are robbing us of manif the manifestation of our ultimate self and keeping us further and further in the plane of uh, low consciousness so Whatever you want to achieve in life, it's going to take tremendous self-discipline, uh, sacrifice, struggle, trials, suffering, all of these things. But you must voluntarily pay this price. Know that there is a price to be paid for these things. And you could pay the price of sacrifice and suffering now, or you could pay the price of regret and greater suffering later. And too many of us make that the latter... Um, the latter too many of us make the decision to pay the latter price for a lot due in part to ignorance and um, just misguided um, mis uh, misorientation of improper orientation of the mind and uh, misguided values and things that uh, stem from a lot of different sources such as conditioning such as subliminal messaging such as the depraved ideologies and paradigms that permeate every aspect of our permeate every aspect of our society and which we um, take on and uh, on a subconscious level and uh, so yeah, self-discipline is a very high virtue and once you start to align with it and impose it upon yourself your consciousness rises you vibrate at a higher level and uh, in some ways the reality opens up to you that much more so keep that in mind know that self-discipline is uh, chief among the virtues and it can be cultivated but as with all things it comes with a price and you have to be willing to voluntarily pay that price and confront the sacrifices and struggles necessary to obtain what you're after and that voluntary that the voluntary aspect of it uh, shifts it in such a way changes the flavor allows the universe to align with your desires and goals because you are voluntarily confronting um, the tests of the universe and by doing so 
in a way they're robbed of their perceived the perceived barrier that they present to you because you're conceiving in them conceiving conceiving of them in a more elevated and uh, initiated way so that's the uh, the gist of what i want to say in this video uh i just know that i've improved a lot in my self-discipline as i said i still struggle but compared to where i was just even a year ago um it's it's i could see a um a great improvement and another thing that helps with that is you have to get your lust in check and your more primal based desires in check because this is an area in many people's lives where they um, exhibit zero self-control because they feel that these are just biological drives that are part and parcel to the human condition and they must be uh, allowed to be expressed and indulged but they're once reined in to some degree um, you gain so much control over yourself and over your interactions with this reality so keep that in mind as well that is one area where there is tremendous potential to cultivate self-discipline and at the end of the day um, as they say life is a dream but um, to some degree to some extent you need to exert control over yourself because the self this is what you have as a means of interacting with uh, reality and the the container for your consciousness is the self so even though in the in the larger scheme of things it is an illusion um, self-discipline and the cultivation of it does tremendous things for the ascension of consciousness and the facilitation of the higher level level goals and things that you wish to achieve and, and extract from uh, this existence which we are all a part of uh, so just know it takes time it takes and you know you're gonna fall off here and there you're gonna revert back to old ways because old habits die hard and the lower self the false consciousness is tremendously powerful but when you do try it your best not to dwell on it um, that's a trap that you don't want to fall into spend your energy on getting back up immediately and take the, taking corrective action to um, get back on the horse as I said the righteous man falls seven times and rises up eight then keep getting up keep getting up and that is the true test there to keep rising after a fall um, that is the true test of the strength of yourself so uh, just work on it pick tasks um, you know things that you can do things examples that I gave those are what I've been doing and I do others as well uh, it doesn't have to be anything astronomical the better you get at it um, the more of it you unlock in your in uh, in your being the more you integrate with it the vibrations associated with self-discipline the more um, the more you'll be able to do of it and the more um, potent things you'll be able to do as, as far as that's concerned so that's what I want to say here um, the gist of it I could talk more but I'm gonna end the video here check out my other videos if you could like this video share subscribe leave your comments leave your feedback anything you might need advice whatever um, be happy to answer it um, whatever criticism anything i'm not i'm not a person that shies away from that and um check out my other channel it's ray rivera where i've done music and art and stuff and stay tuned for more